All right, guys, this is a video to show you how to connect up your Festo Easy Veep to any type of PLC. Uh, the PLC that I'm using is a, a Schneider Tweedo, but you can use any PLC to talk to this Festo Easy Veep module. The Festo Easy Veep module is basically a, a box that you connect up to your computer and then connect up to your PLC, and it allows you for real time animations of what's going on in your program of your PLC. So, over here you can see that it has all of the inputs and all of the outputs as lights. Here you can see that I have this one as the first input they told me that's my cylinder one in the retracted position. So over here on my PLC, right now it's in the retracted position and you can see that my cylinder one in retract position is true. Okay, you can see that each of these guys, these inputs here, cylinder uh, two retracted is two. And so here, input number two is my cylinder two retracted, and you can see that it's also true as well. So you can see real time um, the PLC program and with this animation. Now below, what I'll do is I'll just make this a little bit smaller so you can actually see the PLC program. This is kind of maddening sometimes where you cannot grab, there we go, the easy beep and, uh, and move it over. I find if I grab it just in the corner, then I can actually move it over. But if I grab it in the center here, it will not move whatsoever. All right, so um, here I have a start push button and a stop push button, which corresponds to the animation here. So if this is a flash player animation. And if I press the stop push button, then you can see that it changes real time on the screen here. If I let go of that stop push button, it's a normally closed and it comes back in on my PLC. Now with this one, I've just set it up so that if I press the start, then it's going to cycle through each of my cylinders and it's going to latch on each of these outputs for cylinder one, two, and three. But you'll notice when I press this start button, this will go green, which means it's true. The whole logic here is true and the output will, will start. And there you'll see the animation start on the easy beat. So I press the start button and it starts the animation. I have them all going out. And then when the third one gets to the extended position, it's going to retract all three simultaneously. Very cool. But you can see the my inputs there on rungs one and two are changing for the cylinder positions. So it's a great tool once you get it up and running to show a visual of what's going on in your PLC program. You don't have to have contactors. In this case, I don't have to have pneumatic cylinders. And I believe there are 28 different modules that you can uh, choose from. So we'll stop her there. And what I'll do is I'll go through all the different steps uh, for myself here to try and get the, the Tweedo Suite onto the computer and the Easy Veep, and then all of our settings in order to, um, and the wiring as well with the components. Okay, let's start with the Easy Veep. Um, there's very minimal from, uh, from Festo on showing you exactly how to hook up um, this device. It's an awesome tool as you can see, but there's very minimal um, on how to actually hook it up. So I'll put this description in the in the bottom, this website here for the Easy Veep. That brings you to the main web page. And here you can see you have the home, the modules. So the modules will step you through each of these different uh, animations that are there. Let's take a look at those guys. So all the different modules, you can see that there's, I believe there's roughly 28 different modules, uh, one with a hot water tank, um, some random ones like a, a tape recorder, uh, but other things that are more interesting like a parking lot where you're filling the parking lot and then uh, you can use counters as well. You can use timers um, for the gate to open as well. There's really no limit to what you can put into the PLC program to have it working with this animation. So we've got a parking lot. Uh, the one that I had was a control panel for cylinders, right? So they have the, the Festo control panel and three cylinders. Uh, what else have we got? There's a, one with packaging of cues. There's one with to show you uh, an on and off timer. So there's all kinds of different animations that you can uh, can make use of. Okay. If we go to uh, the downloads, that's where we're going to find the, actually, I think it's on the home. Let's go back to the home page here. 
Okay, is it on the home? No, there's nothing on the home page here. So you've got to go up over here to downloads, and that will provide you with the download for the actual program. So you can just put in some random things here. And it brings you to this page. Now this is the, the version that I'm using. Um, if it's been a year or two that you've had the product, then go, revisit this page and download the new version. The one I'm using is the EasyVeep 2.26. So you go to download. This one works on uh, Windows 10. Save the file and then run it and it will install that product for you. It's fairly intuitive on, uh, on how to install the EasyVeep. So once that's done that download, we'll hit the setup and see how it sets it up on the computer. Okay, so in your downloads folder, you will find this program here, Setup EV2-26. Okay, once you click on this and follow all the, the steps, it will set this up on your computer. What I've done is I've actually dropped this into a, a folder uh, for my EZV PLC programs so that I don't have to hunt around. So if I don't have a uh, any internet access, then I already have the program if I want to drop it onto another computer to make use of it. Okay, once you open up the EZV, then you will be uh, on this main page here. Now, if you don't have the EZV hooked up through the USB port, then this option will not come up. I have my EZV uh, connected up through what's called the Easy Port USB. Uh, and what I've done is I've just clicked on this guy. And as soon as I do that, then it creates that communication. So there's nothing really that tells you that it's communicating, which is a little bit frustrating. If you want to go to uh, the modules, then you click on modules. The one I was working with was the control panel for cylinders, but all of the modules that we saw on that website are now available through this program. I'm going to stay on this one, the control panel for, for cylinders. All of your wiring is right here. So everything that tells you how to connect up to your PLC. These guys with the solid colors, all your, all your inputs. So we have seven inputs, our 24 volts and our commons. And then these guys here with two colors on the multi-conductor cable, those guys are all your outputs. So it looks like we've got uh, six different outputs here to connect up. Then we've got our 24 volts and our zero volts for the output. So all of your wiring is provided here. The next step in order to, to talk to that program with this animation here is to go to display. That's going to display the module that I had chosen, the control panel for the cylinders. Now at this point, I'm not talking to my PLC. I can physically uh, have this guy go in and out by toggling each of my inputs there. And you can see your cylinder one retracted, cylinder one extend. So when I make an extend, this will now be true. But I'm not talking to my PLC. There are no lights flashing on my PLC. So it doesn't seem like I have communication yet. And this is what was frustrating me um, to no end on how to communicate with the PLC. And it was right here in front of me. I just have to click on this emulate. Once I click on emulate, I'm now talking to my PLC. So I'm going back to this portion here. And you can see that I had I didn't have communication with the PLC. As soon as I hit emulate, I now have communication with my PLC. At this point, I can't really see what my program is behind, so I'm going to minimize there because I can see the inputs on my PLC. I'm going to move this over so I can see my program at the same time. And now you can see that I have real-time control over the inputs and the outputs of my PLC. If I hit start here, the animation starts, and you can see everything changing on the program and you can see the input and output lights changing on the PLC. Okay, so the, the steps here in order to get the easy VEEP to work is to set it up, go to settings, connect up to your easy port, pick which module you'd like to work with, go to the connections, make sure that all of your wiring is correct for your inputs and your outputs, go to display, click emulate, 
and you're now talking to your PLC. Excellent. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll pause here. I'll show you the setup that I have for wiring, uh, and then we'll stop it for this video. I'll make a separate video on how to set up uh, the Tweedo Suite for Schneider. Okay, before I go and show you how I've set up the, the PLC with the Easy Beep, I want to give a shout out to uh, Aladar Lakatos. And I, I apologize if I have your name wrong, but uh, awesome site here. If you go to uh, his channel, he's got, he's pr pretty much the, the primary place where I found all the information, not on wiring or anything, or how to actually set it up, but he's got some great videos on each of the different modules that are in the Easy Beep. And he's got his PLC program running in the background. Let me just play his uh, video here. And you can see he's emulating on the, the Easy Beep and his PLC program is changing real time. So for each of the different modules, he's got great videos um, and good starter programs, not even starter programs, but more complex programs um, than what is provided from uh, from Schneider. So go to uh, Al Aladar Lakados' uh, site here. I'll put a link uh, in the bottom comments as well. Great resource for all the different modules uh, for the Easy Beep. All right, guys. So this is my setup that I have uh, set up here at home just to try and get it going before bringing it back to the lab. So you can see uh, right here that I've got the Easy Veep from Festo. Here I've got my Tweedo PLC from Schneider. And in addition, in addition to that, I've got a 24 volt, 24 volt power supply. And in order to talk to the PLC, I've got a switch here as well. This module right here is later on, I'm going to touch, I'm going to bring in an HMI and maybe a drive to this later on. So this is not necessarily re required, but PLC, easy beep, 24 volt power supply. And later on to talk to the, the Tweedo PLC, I need a, the ethernet switch. Okay. You can see on the top here, I've got pretty messy wiring at the moment, but these are my, uh, my inputs. So you can notice that all of the input conductors from the multi-conductor cable are a solid cover. And if we take a look at all of these guys for the outputs, then they're all the, the conductors from the multi-conductor that have two colors for the outputs. Okay. Just remember to jumper all your commons, right? And on your inputs here, I've got a jumper from my common back to my negative. So all of my, my inputs at the moment are sourcing inputs. Okay. In order to talk to the easy beep, there are a number of things that you, uh, you need and all these cables are provided when you purchase the, uh, the unit. So first thing you're going to need is a USB cable. That USB cable goes into your laptop or your desktop and it connects into the back here at the USB channel of the, the easy beep. You don't necessarily need that RS-232. You can talk to it over the USB. It has the, the correct drivers when you download the easy beep software. Okay. In order for my inputs and outputs, my digital inputs and outputs to come in, I've got port number one here, and I'll just show you this multi-conductor cable here. Okay. So you got to, you have to purchase this one. I cut the other end off uh, my cable, but you can purchase uh, one with open conductors with uh, the correct uh, crimps on the end in order to, to connect up to your PLC. And that port number one is going into uh, my digital inputs and my digital outputs on my PLC. If we take a look back here, the other cable here, port number three, let me just take that cable off. Port number three is for your analog inputs and outputs. Come on, buddy. So this cable right here is going to connect up at the back here to port number three. And port number three is going to go over to my PLC. A little bit hard to see with all my crazy wiring here. But beside the PLC, I have an analog input and output. These conductors right here are going to port number three to provide me with analog input and analog output. I haven't found any of the modules that provide 
analog input and output. Um, but I'm also using this for another Festo product that has analog sensors. Okay. In order to talk to, uh, that's everything you need for the, the Festo Easy Beep aside from um, these conductors right here. Now, Festo has their own conductors that they provided. Uh, I just grabbed two from the shop, and that provides you with your 24 volts to this Festo Easy Beep. And that 24 volts, I've just got some banana jacks here that I can connect in and out to provide me with that 24 volts. Uh, and on my little board here, I've got that coming from my Schneider 24-volt uh, power supply. Okay, so one last time. Easy Beep needs port number one, digital inputs and outputs. Port number three, analog input and outputs. USB cable to talk to your laptop or your desktop, and you need it to, to provide 24 volts to the unit. That's everything you need for that guy. Over here for the PLC, I've got the PLC, the Ethernet switch, my 24 volt, 24 volt power supply, uh, and I just have, for today, I have an analog input and output card. But again, I haven't found a module on the Easy Beep that matches with the analog yet. In order to talk to my Tweedo Suite, the last cable that I need is this guy right here. So in, to initially put the IP address, and to talk through one of my COM ports to the PLC, uh, I have this, this guy right here from Telemechanique. This is a $300 cable. Uh, it's a proprietary cable. I guess that's why it, the cost is so, so large. There is the, uh, the part number. So this comes in, in two pieces. I'll put the, the part number for this cable. It's a two-part cable, and it basically goes from uh, this connection here. Sorry, I'm not clear on what that connection right there is uh, is called but this guy right here this connection goes into this end of the cable and then it has the converter so this is the converter box and that converter box changes it to a USB output and that way my computer can talk to the PLC I can set the IP address, and once the IP address is set, then I can use the switch and talk to it over an Ethernet cable. So I would require one more Ethernet cable to go from here to my computer. All right, hopefully that covers all of the, the setup that you need in order to have your PLC talk to the Festo Easy Beep. Again, I am using a Schneider Tweedo Suite, uh, but you could use an Allen Bradley product. You can use any type of uh, PLC to hook up to this guy.